Today we will go through a movie, titled Unknown, released 2011 starring Liam Neeson. Be caution spoiler ahead. This movie starts with Martin Harris travels to Berlin with his wife Liz to attend a biotechnology conference where he will present a paper. Martin discovers he misplaced his briefcase containing their passports at the airport when they get to their hotel. Come on Martin is it aging? The hotel is also the location of the conference. He hails a cab to get the briefcase while Liz checks in. The cab of a truck veers into the river after its cargo collides with the road. When the police arrive, the cab driver, Gina, saves him but then vanishes into the mob. I guess she just said she don't want to be no part of this. Martin is in a state of extreme lethargy for four days. Poor Martin. At the point when he resuscitates, his memory is unsteady. At the point when he sees a TV news report about the biotechnology gathering, he recollects that he should be there. He looks at himself of the clinic and goes to the inn. He sees Liz at a gathering and goes to embrace her. In any case, she guarantees not to know him and acquaints everybody with her significant other, who professes to be Martin Harris. I bet at this point Martin questions and answers himself, am I dead or dreaming, what is this? Martin is lost in Berlin streets. He locates Gina an undocumented immigrant who works many jobs. She is afraid of being deported if she aids him. I guess Martin when it is not your day it is just not your day. Martin visits Professor Bressler, a German bioscientist with whom he has spoken on the phone about their intentions to transform food production. Martin B., however, is already there when he gets there. Martin is hauled out by police after a disagreement. For additional testing, he self-registers at the hospital once more. He receives the name of a private investigator from one of the nurses. A hitman kills the nurse after one of the tests and tries to flee with Martin, but Martin vanishes into the busy emergency room and escapes. Man when you having a bad day, you just having a bad day. Martin goes to see the investigator for hire, Ernst Jürgen, a previous Stasi official. Jürgen trusts Martin's story and advises him to find Gina once more. He seizes her and requests a spot to remain for the evening, giving her a watch that Liz gave him on their commemoration. As he scrubs down, the hired gunman rushes in. Gina kills him with his own toxin. As they get away from in an acquired taxi, they are sought after by a subsequent contract killer. They escape him by concealing in a discotheque. Jürgen meets with Martin and Gina. He has a friend at the airport looking over security camera footage for Martin, and he has gotten in touch with Rodney Cole, a colleague of Martin's who Martin is confident can be of assistance. Liz is followed by Martin to a photographic exhibit. She initially acts as though she doesn't know him before grabbing his attention and telling him that she must betray him but that she still loves him and will be waiting for him at the airport. Gina and Martin B. barely make it out alive as Martin B. and the second hit men turn up. Rodney Cole shows up at Jürgen's office. Acknowledging who Cole truly is, Jürgen takes cyanide as opposed to uncover what he knows. Martin and Gina recover the attaché with the travel papers and huge number of euro in real money. Gina passes on Martin to stand by at the air terminal. Cole shows up and takes Martin to a dark van where he is tasered constantly hit man. Gina sees this and follows the dark van in a taken taxi. Cole and the contract killer take Martin to the high level of an abandoned parking structure. Cole clarifies for Martin that he is actually an administration professional killer utilizing Martin Harris as a cover. At the point when Martin awakened from the post-mishap unconsciousness, he accepted his main story was reality, so Martin B. was brought in to complete the mission, before the subsequent assassin can kill Martin, Gina pounds him between the van and taxi, the effect sends the van, with coal in it, colliding with the ground beneath. Martin can now recall every detail. He and Liz had visited the hotel to detonate a bomb some months previously. 
It would be used to assassinate Bressler in a way that could be attributed to Muslim extremists opposed to Prince Shadas, who is also funding the biotechnology conference, liberalizing plans. He rushes to the motel with Gina. Liz copies the paperwork providing details about a novel, easily cultivated variety of maize there, at a reception for Bressler, and equips the explosives. Martin makes a prompt arrival and convinces hotel security that a bomb is ready to detonate. While Martin befollows Bressler to kill him, Liz goes to defuse the device once security leaves the hotel. Liz is unsuccessful also, is annihilated in the blast. Martin and Martin be battle in the midst of the garbage as Gina watches. Martin kills Martin B with a glass shard. The following day, Bressler and Ruler Shada openly give their new corn to the world, in their common work to stop starvation around the world. Utilizing extra phony travel papers found in his portfolio, Martin and Gina leave Berlin together, as Henry and Claudia Taylor. So the question is did they live happily ever after, or this is no fairy tale? If you missed the movie, IT is never late, you can still stream it on your 30-day free trial which you can cancel at any time, find the link in the pinned comment, but in the meantime you can like and subscribe for more similar content, God love, till death, do us apart.